Hey guys, today I will show you how to change oil and oil filter which I ordered in Yama Sklep and remember if you use promo code ADV anywhere on this shop we will get extra price for anything from Yamaha and changing the oil is pretty simple so let's get started first of all we want to warm up the engine so we'll start the motorcycle coolant uh, temperature so the engine oil will have a lower temperature at the beginning so don't suggest with this number uh, the best idea is to ride for like five or ten minutes or just run the engine for a couple of minutes once the oil is warm uh, we have some time until it get a little bit cooler and we'll use this time to dismount this bash plate. very handy now we unscrew this bolt and the oil will drain Investigate the bolt and make it clean. This washer, you should probably change it every time. I do it like every second time. I think this washer can can handle a little bit. Now we have to remove the old filter. I never used any special tool for removing that. In mul multiple uh, bikes, I hope that this time we'll be also able to unscrew it with the hand. So let's see. Well, it wasn't as simple as I thought, but everything is possible with a little bit of creativity. So, once I realized that I cannot unscrew it with bare hands, uh, there is uh, my little tip to so use a duct tape around the filter, then take the uh, this kind of of strap lock it in this direction and all you need to do is to pull this with one hand and hold it with the second hand to stabilize it and try to unscrew this with with this little Help, it should be possible to do. So let's see if I'm correct. Also, <coughs> pro tip it's nice to use some gloves. 
to have a better grip so that's the idea don't need to have any special tools for that and the stripes are great I use I take them anywhere I am so there is our old filter As you can see, there is this o-ring which is already properly lubricated, so you actually don't need to do anything with that. We need to just screw it in. Also, you don't need to pour the uh, the oil inside. It it doesn't matter. You can just screw it in. And because we don't have proper tools and it should be for like um, 17 newtonometers and as you saw I was unable to unscrew it with bare hands so we'll just make sure that we will screw it in as strong as tight as you can with your bare hands and it should be fine now this bolt remember to check the condition of the washer if it's fine probably you can use it again if not it's recommended to use new one it's very important to tighten this bolt with 43 newtonometers and for this you have to use this kind of tool so set it to 43 newtonometers and tighten it until you hear the click and then it's done Now we unscrew this, we need to uh, clean it, make sure that this o-ring is in good condition, if not, replace it. You want uh, 2.6 liters, make sure that no dirt will go inside the engine. Start the engine. 
so 2.3 liters if you don't change the oil filter and 2.6 if you change the oil filter so let's see make sure that there is no oil leaking anywhere look at the oil position it should go down because it will fill the oil filter leave it for a couple of minutes and then we'll check the oil level it should be between minimum and the maximum and it's best to have a little bit more than the center just right under the high level because if if you will lose some oil during the riding you will still have this extra oil capacity so if we position the motorcycle straight you can see hopefully you can see that the level is just right that's it for today guys thank you for watching if you like this kind of video leave me a comment in the section down below and please subscribe so i will have more videos for you soon stay tuned